Dynamic Content for Elementor actually includes two ways to generate a PDF. There's a PDF extension for the Elementor Pro Form Builder, which is useful for creating invoices or receipts. There is also a PDF button widget, which is useful for creating things like course completion certificates. Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360, and this video will take a look at the second method, using the PDF button widget to create a PDF from the Elementor page content. I have here a test site using the free Page Builder Framework theme, and you can see I've generated some dummy content. And for plugins, I have Elementor Core and Dynamic Content for Elementor installed and activated. I'm going to start by creating a new page. I'm going to give the title of the page the name that I'd like to use for the file name of the download PDF certificate. So I'm going to call it Course Completion Certificate. And we'll see why I've chosen that name in a few minutes when we go to create the PDF output. I'm just going to publish this and then we'll edit it with Elementor. Okay, let's start by adding a new section, and we'll give that some margin at the top. Okay, and maybe a little padding. Okay, and let's set the content width to, let's say, 685. So that's this area here, because we want to make sure that the content of the certificate is kind of boxed in so it prints, doesn't overflow the page. And we'll vertical align this to middle. Now here we're going to add some inner columns. And we only need one of these columns, so I'll get rid of the other one. Here we will add a heading first. Call this WordPress Master Site Builder. And let's change the text color and go into the topography. Just to be safe, I'm going to go with a system font that I think all browsers have. And let's set the size, say, to 45. So let's try making it a little smaller. There we go. And now let's add another heading under that. We'll say this is to certify. We'll center that. We'll call this an H3. And let's change the text color. I'm going to give it a little margin at the bottom. We'll say 25 pixels. So we're basically just creating the certificate here. So I'm going to add two columns here. And on this one, we'll add a text widget. And we'll use a dynamic tag and a token. And our token's going to be the logged in username. And then that's not showing. I think we might need to save. And let's update this because it has to get the logged in username in order to show it. All right. So there's that. And we'll center it. I think we can make it a little darker. And again, we're going to go for the system font. And for topography, we're going to have it be italic. And text size, let's say, maybe 35. OK, let's save that and take a look at that. And now on this side, we're going to add another text widget. And in this one, we're going to use some text, completed the WordPress Master Site Builder course on. And we're going to use another token here, and this will be today's date. Let's go and make this just a little bit darker also. OK, and now let's add an image under that. And let's get the logo for the school. This is basically our certificate, what we want to print out. And now let's add a, another section. And to this section, we'll add the PDF button. And here we see there are several rendering or converter options. There's JS browser, so letting Chrome do it, DOM PDF or TCPDF. 
And there's a note here that says that the JS version is the most accurate and the best for shorter content, and ours is shorter content. So we'll go with this first JS option. And then the PDF is going to be named the post name, course completion certificate. And now we need to tell it what we want to print on the PDF. We need the container. And right now it's going to be this. And we don't really want the page title to be printed on the PDF. So what we have to do is we have to give this section a CSS ID. So we'll call this my PDF section without the pound sign. Okay, and then when we go back to the button, here we'll use the pound sign, but use that same name. And then I'm in the United States, so my printer is going to print a letter size, and it's going to be landscape. I'll give this a little margin on the top. Then let's look at the button options. So we'll say download your PDF certificate. Okay, we'll have it open in a new window. We'll center the button. And if we've done everything correctly, I think it might work. Let's try it out. We'll save. Let's go preview that. Okay, let's go look at the PDF and see what it looks like. Not too bad. Looks like we can adjust the layout a little bit. So let's do that. And let's start here. So I think I don't need that because the area it's going to print is inside this section. So let's give some more padding inside this section. See how that goes. Maybe some space between these. So let's go here and add a little margin at the top there. And then on this one, we'll add maybe a little margin to the top and some to the bottom. Looks like a little bit much on the top. Okay, and let's try giving it, say, a light blue background color. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do it on the whole section. Okay, let's check this. I don't think I need any margin there. Now let's go take another look. Nice. Okay, we got a little white space here that is hopefully going to be easy to fix. Let's fix that. So let's go here and we'll add a little bit more at the top and maybe a little bit more at the bottom. Let's update that. Go in preview. Perfect. Okay, so that's the process for using the PDF button widget. In conclusion, what we saw was that the process is pretty straightforward. There are four PDF converter options, JS, DOM PDF, TCP DF, and Browser. In testing it, the DOM PDF and TCP DF gave me an error. And that could be due to my local PHP system. Maybe I didn't have some PHP library extension enabled. I'm not sure. The help note indicated that the JS version was the most accurate for shorter content. And that version worked very well for making the PDF certificate. The other thing we saw was that it took a little experimentation to get the layout just right. My overall conclusion is that the PDF button widget is another unique dynamic content for Elementor feature. It's easy to use, it empowers you to use Elementor to generate a PDF, and that process usually requires a dedicated plugin or linking to some external service. So that's my walkthrough of the dynamic content for Elementor PDF button widget. There's a text version of the video available on the Elementor 360 website, along with other reviews, walkthroughs, and resources. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.